Hi everybody, welcome back to Prison Architect. Holy crap. What a stressful couple of episodes we've had in Prison Architect. Um, we've got this shakedown that has just lasted for like an eternity, it feels like. Uh, but it should be almost done. We have one more place to look at, apparently. Uh, kitchen is being dismantled and currently being moved into its new area. We're gonna have to set it up like quick though because um, it's gonna be uh, eat time again before you know it. We have 15 cookers to place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Perfect! Nice. We also have uh, 14 fridges and maybe 15 uh, once that one's uh, done uh, doing its thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, we have 15 fridges and 15 cookers. Uh, we're gonna need to also add a couple of sinks in here as well. We're gonna dot them around like here to, I think three is probably okay just for now. Um, and we have some bins as well to make the place look like more realistic. We're gonna put the bins like at the edge of like the cookers like this so that when they're cooking and they have like excess scraps and stuff to throw away, they can do that. Perfect, okay, utilities wise, uh, we seem to be okay utilities wise actually. It looks like we have power running through all of these uh, areas. If we just like do this, that should cover us. Perfect, okay. So that's almost done. You know what the shakedown? I'm done with the shakedown, okay? We found pretty much everything that we're gonna find in that shakedown. It's done, okay? Okay, good. Now let's also dismantle this water boiler that's inside for some reason. I don't know why I made that inside. It was making the room too hot. It's probably adding to the uh, general exhaustion and everything of staff too. Okay, now, another thing that we need to do. Sorry. Welcome back to our women's prison which is just a great big fucking mess right now. People are dying left, right, and center. Man, we had days and days and days where no one died, and all of a sudden, everybody seems to be dying. We lost a couple of guards that we've replaced, I think. Um, man, we've lost a couple of prisoners for being snitches and stuff. Our CI situation is terrible. Our food distribution situation is terrible. Our staff went on strike recently as well. It's been a fucking mess. But we're slowly, slowly trying to fix all of the problems, okay? Um, and we're just about getting there. Okay, we're going to dismantle the staff room completely. This staff room is big and dumb and just a waste of space, pretty much. And where it is right now is not the best, so we're going to centralize it. We're going to centralize it here where the kitchen is. Uh, and we're going to make it so that the staff can get the food that they need to eat. Uh, when they need it. So, uh, and for the sake of saving money as well, we're just going to dismantle the staff room and then uh, rebuild it as well. So that we can um, not spend a bunch of money on equipment that we already have. All right. So come on, workers, get to it. They've got a whole bunch of boxes and stuff to haul. We've got a whole bunch of new installations going in here. Looks like the kitchen is being set up. Probably just in time, too, for us to start cooking up the next batch of meals that we're going to need. This is going to be good. We have a couple of unhappy prisoners. 37 prisoners have been unne unnecessarily searched recently. This is, of course, uh, owing to the shakedown that lasted just forever. Um, and we have uh, people... Uh, we have one prisoner who is unable to be assigned to a cell. I'm not sure who it is. Uh, does it say? No. Protective custody. Uh, we have... All of these people waiting possibly to be sent somewhere. I'm not sure where. Pennington. Got some people. I wonder if our deployment's like all screwed up again. Is it? Have we changed it? God damn it. What the fuck deployment? Seriously? And also what the fuck? Oh, God. Okay. And protective custody. There. You got your yard now. Okay. Good. Protective custody now have their yard. Um, will they get any yard time? I'm not sure. I don't. What is this guy doing down here? He's pissed off and exhausted. It looks like he's also bending the fabric of time and teleporting around as well. So I guess that's something that staff do when they get really tired or something. I don't know. Like, I've been tired before and I've never bent the fabric of time and done teleportation tricks. But, uh, you know, to each their own. If that's how they want to do it, then fine. It looks like all of our cooks are maybe finally here. Good. Okay, don't worry guys, we're, go we're getting all your stuff installed. Look, we got all the boxes coming. 
We got all the workmen working overtime here. We have 25 workmen potentially working uh, to make this uh, new dream a reality. We have a lot of setting up to do, and it's likely that we're going to miss today's meal, sadly. Okay, we are going to need to have serving tables here. Okay, we're going to make like a, a nice kitchen area okay for our staff we're gonna have two serving tables okay not only that we're gonna spend a little bit of extra money on some nice white tiles oh now this is gonna look swish as fuck okay we're gonna put in uh their other stuff as well we're gonna put their drinks machine in the kitchen too that's gonna be really nice um what else do they need in here they need some wide sofas they're gonna have uh their wide sofa set up like right here with their great big um, TV. We're gonna have an arcade cabinet in here as well for them. We're gonna set that up like right here next to the wide sofa. Where's the big TV? Where was the large screen TV that we had for them? It's right here. Okay, we're gonna set that up like here so that they can watch a little bit of TV. Sounds like uh, something is kicking off over here and it looks like it is Vivian Pennington who's having a fist fight with one of our guards. She's using her fists and our guard is of course using a baton and has knocked Vivian out unconscious. This is a good thing. Okay, perfect. Alright, so we have this drinks machine is in or coming in. We're putting down some white tiles. We're going to set up these serving tables in the staff room as well. We're going to need some chairs and stuff too in here. We're going to get some chairs like set up like this. We're going to get a table set up for them as well with some chairs. This is going to look really nice. Look at that. That shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Is it this one? Oh, for fuck's sake, of course. We can't do this with the fucking... Oh, no. What a fucking disaster. Oh, holy shit. Okay, the kitchen is going to have to be rewired. Oh, my lord. Oh, this is the pits. Man, this is going to take forever. Okay, dismantle utility. We're going to have to dismantle these utilities here. Okay. Oh, wait. We can't do that, though. Because they're connected, like, through the wall. So the laundry machines are going to have to go. We're going to have to dismantle these laundry machines. Unbelievable. Okay. Sure. I can do this. I can, I, I can do it. Okay, we've got we've got a bit of an issue here Whereby the grids have been connected up and they should not be connected up. Okay, so we want to make sure that this grid is the one servicing uh, the kitchen Okay, and not the other grid for Christ's sake That's just what we fucking need. Okay. Is there anything else connecting this up on this side? Looks like possibly some of this stuff might. I don't think there's any power going here. That should disconnect that. Okay, you know what? We might be fine here. Okay, so the kitchen definitely needs to be powered from this side and not this side. Do we have the capacity for it? Yes, we do, it turns out. We've got plenty of fucking capacity there. What the hell? Okay, please dismantle these laundry machines, okay? So that we can separate out the grids and that we can switch the power back on. Okay, it looks like one of them is going. This is good. Nice. And then it looks like we are dismantling these utilities here as well for some reason. Even though I'm pretty sure I said to cancel it. But there we go. That's fine. Okay. We've got a little bit of a power outage here. But it's nothing to worry about, okay? We're going to fix it all up pretty soon. The new kitchen has had a couple of teething issues, okay? Unexpected teething issues should be noted. I, I did not expect for the wires to go through the wall and connect up to this laundry room and screw everything up like that. But we're going to see anyway. Okay. Now, the grids should not be perfect. There we go. Now we, now we can switch this one back on. Good. No. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, which one needs to be switched on? We've got another connection here somewhere. Aha. I fucking see you, bitch. I see you. Okay, let's dismantle this. It's here. This is the problem area, I think. So we got that there. It's connecting up to that. And that's what's causing the problem. Okay, so let's just dismantle this utility. We've got two, two power stations on the same grid right now. And that's what's causing everything to go fucking tits up. Okay, so we're going to have to dismantle this utility, which it looks like Stan is doing it right now. Okay. 
We have no power in the entire prison right now. Okay, perfect. Now, we should be able to bring this one back online. Okay, there's still a connection somewhere. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Fuck me! Where is this connected up? Oh, what a mess this is! There's no way! Okay, that grid is fine. It looks like... How the fuck is this connected up right now, though? I don't see where it's even touching. There's no touching happening here. Is it here? Is this where the touching is happening? Or is it coming through here and touching here and then connecting up to... It can't be. Where's the power lines under here? Oh, it, uh, it, it is. It's unbelievable. Look, at it's, it's under here. It's under this pipe. Oh, for fuck's sake. What a fucking disaster. Okay, so we're going to have to dismantle this utility here like this. But then we're going to have to put this pipe back here when that's done. It's going to disconnect both, okay? So we're going to have some water issues in a second as well. All right. Good. Now we should be back in business. Okay, let's switch this on. Good. That's looking healthier already. Okay, now let's switch this one back on. Oh, man. All right. What a... What a fucking disaster that was. I mean, holy shit. Okay, but look at this new staff room, though. Okay, these guys are going to be eating like there's no tomorrow. They're going to be loving every minute of it. There's a bit of blood outside of the new kitchen. I'm not sure quite how that's gotten there. Um, we're just going to hook up this, la this new water pipe as well, hopefully. And we're going to also need to, um, from this door control system, hook up this new servo here as well. Okay. I almost forgot to do that. That's going to make things flow a little bit better. Okay, it looks like the food is a cooking, which is nice. Now we're going to need to have some uh, water connected up to here. And we're going to also need some hot water connected up to here as well, which should be... Oh, God, there's a fucking water boiler inside here as well. Oh, for shit's sake. <laughs> oh, my God. We have to dismantle this water boiler and move it outside, for Christ's sake. It's going to be too hot in here. There's people with kids in here, too. Those kids are going to be too hot. Before you know it, everybody's going to be too hot. I don't know if you've ever, like, been involved in a heat wave before, but fuck me, it's not very nice at all. It is not the best. Okay, these people can't get out of here either because we have to connect up this door servo. Perfect. All right, protective custody are out in the yard. And look at Smith brought her baby out in the yard with her as well. Now, isn't that something? That is nice, isn't it? Okay, it's going to be eat time soon. And I'm really scared that we're not going to be able to fulfill um, the eat eating needs of our prisoners uh, off the back of all of this crap that's going on here. Okay, you know what? We're going to get, okay, this water boiler is going to get set up here. Okay, we're going to run the biggest pipe you've ever seen to it as well. Okay, this is going to be one huge pipe. It's going to go out like that, give it all the pressure that it needs, okay? And then we're going to hook up... Um, wait, is this all connected up? More or less, yes it is, okay? So we're going to need to hook up some hot water pipes like this, okay? And then hopefully it can go the distance. We're also going to have to probably do this, this, and I don't understand. Okay, good. Oh, serenity now! Deep breaths! I'm taking just the deepest breaths right now and trying to calm down, but I'm honestly struggling, okay? There is so much to do. There's so much chopping and changing to do as well. It's nuts, okay? We're gonna need some more cooks as well. Five more cooks. We now have 20 cooks in here, okay? And it looks like normal sec are having like a fucking riot outside right now. Where are all the guards? Can you... Fucking people do something for fuck's sake? Like, how many fucking guards? There's eight fucking guards not doing anything right now. Get in here. I'm gonna send... I'm gonna fucking call... There's been a death, okay? There's been a death. Dana Clearwater has been murdered. Because all of our guards are too dumb to turn up to a big fight breaking out inside a yard. Look at this. Look at this. Shit show. What a fucking shit show! Look at all these poor women are fucking dying here! 
We've got the smallest infirmary ever. Do we even have doctors? We have two. Unfucking believable. Okay, we're gonna need another one. We're gonna need two more of these, actually. Two more doctors. All right, you know what, Doc? Fucking get out here and do your job. I know we just hired you, but Jesus Christ. Okay, you too. We got fucking people who need some urgent medical attention out in this yard. There's been like a mini riot and somebody died for fuck's sake. Man, Christ alive. It's all because of this food situation that we're in right now. It's been a real goddamn disaster, actually. Needs? Yeah, look at food is so bad. Okay, we're finally starting to meet staff food uh, demands, though. We're gonna need to set up some toilets for them inside the staff room as well. We need a couple of toilets in here. Uh, we're gonna set them up, like, down here. And we're gonna need to dot some toilets around the prison elsewhere for them as well. Because, uh, to save them having to come back to the staff room, look at this one. This staff room is the best right now. It's got everything. No serving table, though. Um, or does it? No, it doesn't even. It doesn't have a serving table. It doesn't need one. They can come back here to, like, the big fancy-ass kitchen that we've created for them. We spent a lot of money creating this fancy-ass kitchen as well. It's gotta be said. Uh, we're gonna need some power to, like, connect up to this as well. We're gonna put it on this grid. We're gonna make sure we put it on this grid. Because, holy crap, what a mess that was. And did, did it just skip? Oh God! The fuck? <laughs> For fuck's sake! Okay, it just skipped a square for some reason. I'm not even sure why. Protective custody seems to be doing okay now. Um, it took a little while to get it set up and stuff, but there we go. Okay, that is fine. We can finally get rid of this big kitchen, and we don't need anybody deployed here any longer. Okay, this is good. We're gonna need to set up some pipes for these toilets as well. These are the new toilets for the new staff room that we've created. A little bit more central to the kitchen. Hopefully be able to service all of the needs of our staff. We have 10 normal security prisoners and 2 minimum security prisoners turning up in 11 hours time. We also have 23 prisoners up for parole. One visitor on site in one group as well. We need to get visitation sorted out for protective custody. Amongst other things, give them some jobs and stuff, but that's low on the priority list right now. Right now, we want to stop people from killing each other and feed them as well. That would be ideal, actually. The ideal scenario is that every prisoner is fed and also nobody is killing each other. And possibly some of these prison uniforms start to get... Um, dealt with as well because they're just laying around on the floor inside the kitchen and I'm not sure that that's the best place for them to be. We have got all of these sinks as well with these guys just going hammer and tongs trying to clean up all these disgusting food trays. Got like food stuck to them all over. Little like fucking dried up pieces of lettuce that just like stick to the tray and never come off. I don't know if you've ever had a situation like that, but when lettuce dries up, it's a real fucking big deal, isn't it? What? These pipes? Okay, we're waiting for one pipe to be installed still. Okay, well, at least the temperature of the prison has gone down now, and people seem to be a little bit more happy. I'm not sure what that's in aid of. Uh, we have five grand, so it doesn't look like this canteen is going to be getting moved over here anytime soon. Although, it would be handy if it could get moved over here sooner rather than later. Because currently they have, well, it's not that far for them to go. It's just the normal sec prison population is just so gigantic. that It's a lot of mouths to feed. Uh, like, even with all of our staff, look, there's still like food just sitting there going bad. This guy is pissed off and exhausted. Like, he just cannot get a break. These guys are all leaving the break room now. A couple of them are pretty tired. Sitting down, having some drinks, having some food, resting up. This is good. Let's see what the needs are like for our staff right now. Food is still a bit of an issue. I guess, like, I guess, uh, like, staff aren't making it to the staff room. Maybe that's, like, another issue. Maybe we need to have multiple staff rooms dotted around for some of these people. That could be a thing, you know. But then, it, logistically, it's going to be hard to get food to all of these staff rooms as well. But with, like, 20 cooks, it might be doable. Well, we want to make sure that our cooks are, are close by and getting well-rested so they move faster to the places they need to go. Like, this guy needs to go on a break right now. Look, and he's taking a tray with him on his break. Okay, go on. You can do it. We're going to watch you take a break here, Ned. He's pissed off and exhausted. He's just going to deliver some trays and then hopefully he's going to take a break because he really needs one. He shouldn't be working. 
right now. Sit down and watch some TV for a minute. Come on. No, your shift is over, Ned. Come on. Do yourself. He's going back to work. No, he's not. Oh, yes, he is. Look, he's on cleanup duty. He can't take his break. Oh, my God. He's going to be so pissed off. It'd be funny if the staff, like, started, like, tasing each other and stuff as well. You know, like, when the prisoners get super pissed off and they just start, like, killing each other and stuff. It'd be funny if the staff also started doing that as well. Like, the guard just went nuts and started, like, killing other guards or whatever. I mean, I say that that'd be funny. It would not be funny at all, actually. It'd be fucking terrible, but still um so maybe we can repurpose some of this space here to be a bigger infirmary because we're gonna need one like this infirmary is woefully small right now it's really bad um let's do it we're gonna do this we're putting the wall back here i think we're gonna put this wall back here yeah fuck it you know what we are gonna put this wall back here we're also gonna put a staff door here okay and then we're going to uh dismantle this object here we're going to put instead just a normal door, okay? And then we are going to make a bigger infirmary because Lord knows we need one, okay? We need to have more space to treat our patients, to treat our ill prisoners uh, who have been fighting and who are ill and not feeling too well and stuff. Perfect, okay? So rooms. This is, of course, going to be an infirmary. A big one. Good. Uh, Deployment-wise, we want this to be staff only for sure. Infirmary can be shared. That's fine. Kitchen and staff room are staff only. Everything else looks to be okay, actually. We got a mail room here for Minsec, which is pretty nice. We wanted to get another mail room set up uh, here for probably for normal sec, I guess. Um, but we wanted to sort out this hallway as well, didn't we? Because it doesn't line up right now. It's a bit of a mess. Okay, so objects-wise, let's dismantle uh, the infirmary and get it reset up in its new uh, area. We'll get rid of this door, all these lights, and uh, this no longer is an infirmary. Perfecto! Okay, we also want to have a metal detector uh, inside the infirmary, and we're going to need to make sure that we have uh, power leading into this as well. Looks like we kind of have some power, but not much. It's like a... Our utilities, I don't even like to look at them at the best of times because they are such a mess. Holy crap. Okay, so we want to have um, some hospital beds, medical beds in here. We're going to go like this. Uh, what kind of gap are we leaving? Like a one gap. Oh my god. Okay, fine. You know what? You win, game. Obviously, all, obviously my impromptu planning is not the greatest. Okay, we had a filing cabinet in here too. We want to make it look realistic, right? We had an office desk here too. We want this office desk to face the right way. And then we want a chair here too. Okay, so this is where like the on-duty nurse works. Okay, we want to make things look realistic. Now we also want to have a couple of bins in here too, I think. You know, for like, yeah, for gloves and like, you know, surgical masks and like all that shit that like gets used up. Okay, that's better. We now have... Four doctors and four medical beds. We could extend that as well. Um, programs wise, we're gonna need to uh, change around the pharmacological treatment of drug addiction because we've changed rooms, right? Uh, general education, alcoholics group therapy, we still haven't set up. Guard taser certification. We can't really afford right now, but we should start doing it soon. Spiritual guidance we can't do. Okay, so um, from 10 until 11, we're going to be treating people in the infirmary. So deployment-wise, from 10 until 11, so that's uh, on this schedule, we want a guy in the infirmary. Okay, perfect. That's nice. And actually, that schedule stretches all the way through to like 6 p.m. How's this looking? This is looking better. I think the kitchen being where it is right now is much better. I think that that's nice. I think that that's good. I think that I'm... Pretty, pretty pleased about the whole fucking... What the shit? These guys don't even have hot showers in here? What the fuck? What in the world? How? Okay. All right. Now, come on. When? When did they lose access? I wonder. Okay, we're going to try to hook them up this way and see if it works. Oh, let's just hope that this, this new water boiler 
is getting all of the pressure that it needs to meet. Look at what a mess. Okay, at least there's some heat in this radiator coming out to help poor old uh, Laura Carter, of course, with her child in that family cell. Okay, because that baby, if it, that baby gets cold, that baby is just gonna be screaming its head off like all the time. Holy shit! All right, well there. Let's stop there for now. We'll be back for some more Prison Architect next time. What a stressful couple of episodes. I feel like we've finally sort of gotten on top of things. We've moved the staff room to a more central location. I think that it's helping as well. I think that it is definitely helping, okay? Staff are resting more and eating more and pooing more and peeing more and stuff. And this is good. We can keep on top of staff needs, keep them happy, keep them working hard. That'd be good. And then uh, we're going to, once we make some more money, we are going to uh, move this canteen uh, closer to the kitchen so that it has access from the kitchen. Um, and then we're going to also sort out this hallway because it's a bit of a mess right now. Um, but we're getting there. We are definitely getting there. We still have a, a prisoner who's unable to be assigned to a cell and I don't know who it is. I can't find them for the life of me. They're not sitting in reception, which makes them quite hard to find. So I don't know. We'll have to find them next time. Anyway. As usual, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time!